Hi, this is Anton again. Uh, yes, this is just June 9th, 2011. I am uh, continuing with my uh, daily recordings of self forgiveness. Because every morning I uh, drive for like, you know, 10 15 minutes to get to work. So in that time I try to record my self-spoken self-forgiveness. And why not? Uh, mostly I do this because I've been procrastinating and postponing f doing self-forgiveness. Because I, I was under the impression if I do logging and blogging and you know, uh, everything else, then I am quite okay. That I don't need to really forgive myself. <coughs> I am above and beyond self-forgiveness. That's what I thought. And also there is a uh, resistance to self-forgive. So this is a uh, kind of a daily commitment at least Monday to Friday. Just keep on doing this SF. Uh, you know, 10 minutes in the morning or 15 minutes. It's, uh, and also sharing this uh, on YouTube and Facebook as an example of self-forgiveness can be an assistance to others. I forgive myself that I accept and allow myself to believe that I don't need to forgive myself. I forgive myself that I accept and allow myself to believe that I am above and beyond self-forgiveness. <coughs> I forgive myself that I accept and allow myself to believe that I can transcend all my points of transcendences simply by thinking about it. That I can analyze the point and uh, do a research and uh, analysis uh, within the mind of course and then transcend those points. Not realizing, no, I, I just can think about a point and the point is not going to disappear. So self-forgiveness is here as an amazing tool to help me see the point and to overcome the point. But still I have to, I have to change. Self-forgiveness is not going to change me. I have to change me. But in self-forgiveness there is a release, uh, there is an actual physical level release and uh, the wider perception, I can perceive the point more clearly and take more responsibility for the point and also it stills the water in me self-forgiveness stills the water in me so continuing with self-forgiveness I forgive myself that I've accepted and allow myself to believe that I don't need self-forgiveness I forgive myself that I accept and allow myself to believe I can and my mind can handle everything you know I don't need to forgive myself. I forgive myself except long as I don't realize mind is the problem. Getting entrapped within the thinking and ideas, beliefs and emotions is the problem. So, as some one wise man, somebody said uh, sometime, you know, a wise man said that the mind that created the problem cannot solve the problem. So, I need to step outside the mind. For this, I am employing self-forgiveness. I forgive myself that I have accepted allow myself to discard and dismiss self-forgiveness. I forgive myself that I have accepted allow myself to believe that I am now so established in my destiny process that I don't need to self-forgive anymore. I forgive myself that I accept allow myself to believe that uh, self-forgiveness can take a second seat now. I forgive myself that I accept allow myself to not realize the basic tool, the basic engine behind this process is self-forgiveness. Because that is the one that sets me free from my mind-conscious system. So today I want to look at this point of crankiness or tiredness. I feel so... It's uh, 8.30 in the morning, I feel so... <coughs> <coughs> kind of uh, energetically process and uh, kind of uh, uh, cranky or whatever you call it. I forgive myself, accept, allow myself to define myself through mind energy. 
I forgive myself that except allow myself to define myself through mind energy. I forgive myself that except allow myself to define myself as high and low. I forgive myself except allow myself to be attached to the energy of my mind and associate myself with the energy of the mind. So sometimes I feel high, sometimes I feel low. I forgive myself except allow myself to believe that I am cranky right now, meaning that I am agitated. There is a feeling of agitation. And easily, I could easily get angry right now. I forgive myself that I accept allow myself to believe that I'm tired. I forgive myself that I accept allow myself to believe that I need more than six hours of sleep to feel fresh and alive. I forgive myself that I have accept allow myself to feel tired, cranky and kind of moodiness also. I forgive myself that I accept allow myself to associate and identify myself as a moody person. I forgive myself that I accept allow myself to believe that it's normal to be cranky in the morning. That's how I uh, It's okay to be normal, you know, cranky and depressed and a little bit angry and agitated in the morning. I forgive myself except allow myself to believe it's okay to be cranky and depressive in the morning. I forgive myself that except allow myself to think and believe that it is okay to be cranky and depressive in the mornings. I forgive myself that except allow myself to think and believe that it's okay to be can cranky and depressive and agitated in the mornings. I forgive myself except allow myself to accept my crankiness or this moodiness as normal. This is how I am. After all, I have been like this for forty some years. But this is not the way to live. This every morning, you know, tired and feeling agitated, irritated. What kind of life is that? I forgive myself, accept allow myself to continue to believe that this is what I am. This is what who I am. So what I think who I am is a very key point, because that's what I manifest. If I think I am a cranky, moody, depressive, agitated, irritated persons, person in the morning, well, that's what I experience, that's what I manifest, that's what I live as. So I had to reprogram this script, because this is not who I am. Crankiness is not who I am. Agitation is not who I am. Depression is not who I am. Anger is not who I am. I am here as breath, breathing. I forgive myself that except allow myself to believe this morning crankiness as normal. It's normal to be cranky in the morning. This is what I believe about myself. I forgive myself that I've accepted and allow myself to believe that it is okay to be moody and depressive in the mornings. I forgive myself that I've accepted and allow myself to think and believe that it is okay to be depressive in the morning. It's okay to be cranky and agitated in the morning. Everybody is like that. So it's okay for me to be like that. I forgive myself, accept allow myself to script myself, program myself to be a moody, depressive, angry, agitated person in the morning. I forgive myself, accept allow myself to believe it's okay to be agitated. It's okay to be tired. I forgive myself, accept allow myself to think and believe that I'll be tired if I don't sleep for more than six hours, more than eight hours. I forgive myself that I accept allow myself to feel cranky, moody and tired. I forgive myself accept allow myself to feel agitated right now. I forgive myself accept allow myself to allow this agitator, agi agitation to exist within me as me. I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to script myself so that I'll, I will be living a depressive, angry, agitated, 
cranky, grumpy kind of a life. I forgive myself, I accept love myself to script myself to be cranky and grumpy. I forgive myself, I accept love myself to script myself to be agitated and moody. I forgive myself, I accept love myself to script myself to be cranky and moody. I forgive myself, I accept love myself to script myself to be cranky and moody. I forgive me that I accept love myself not realize I am scripting myself to be cranky and moody. Because this is what I have accepted, allowed, accepted and allow myself to be. I believe this is who I am and what I am. I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to experience myself as crankiness, as tiredness. I forgive myself, I accept allow myself to program myself, script myself, design myself as a cranky moody person. I forgive myself that I have accepted and allow myself to design myself as a cranky person. I forgive myself that I have accepted and allow myself to script myself as a cranky person. I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to to script myself as agitated, as agitation. My agitation exists because this is what I have accepted and allowed myself to be. My anger, agitation and frustration and moodiness and crankiness exists in the mornings because this is what I have script myself. I have told myself this is what who I am. And so I, I manifest it, I live it. So I forgive myself, I accept love myself to manifest and script myself as moodiness, as crankiness, as depression. I forgive myself, I accept love myself to experience myself as anger and agitation in the mornings. I forgive myself, I accept love myself to script myself and design myself and allow myself and accept myself as anger, as depression, as, as agitation and moodiness. I let this go. I release, I delete, I let go all this depression, anger, agitation and crankiness within me. This is not who I am. Agitation is not who I am. Anger is not who I am. Depression is not who I am. I release them. I let them go. I delete them from, from every cell of my body. I do so with breathing. I am here and I let go with the out breath. I forgive myself. I give myself to me. This is the greatest gift I can give to myself. To give me myself. I forgive myself that I accept love myself to hide behind my mind and emotions, thoughts and feelings. All these years, I was hiding. Hiding behind my own mind and own thoughts, emotions and feelings. Now thanks to this amazing tool, self-forgiveness, I can step aside. I can step out of my own thoughts, emotions and feelings and experience who I am for real. I forgive myself that I accept love myself to still hold on to my old self, old mind, old thoughts, emotions and feelings and hang on to them, hold on to them tight, believing that I find security and safety in my thoughts, emotions and feelings, not realizing there is no such a security exists in thoughts, emotions and feelings. It's just a memory-based comfort, familiarity, that's it. The real power is to live as breath here in this moment. Absolutely nothing from the past. And doing what is best for all in this breath. Because breath is life. I mean, when I look at my friend who just died a month ago, I mean, he had everything. He just died. Just died. All is over for him. Everything has come to an end. 
So, uh, and here I am, I am living, and for me too, everything will come to an end. But I can do it in a very, in a, in a very different way. I can end everything through self-forgiveness and yet live here as life without leaving the physical body. I mean, otherwise with that heavy mind I have to die, you know. All thoughts, emotions, feelings, memories, fears, anger, hatred, judgments, comparisons. I have to die with all of those shit. Now I can die without those shit. So that's a beautiful thing. Such a relief, such a light-heartedness way to die. Otherwise you have to die with a heavy load in your head. So I am thankful for Ravi to uh, show me the power of death. His death has uh, shown me that I have to really die before the real death arrives. I have to really let go of my identification, self-definitions, self-limitations, self-imposed belief systems. Everything that I have believed what I am. Everything that I have script myself to believe and to become. I have to let them go. And I have to rebirth myself within the physical as life. And this is something I can certainly do. I mean, it is within my scope. I can do it. Every, everyone can do it. But I employ this amazing tool called self-forgiveness and engage in this. Really look into myself. Let go all the things that I have lived as fears, judgments, anger, hatred, prejudice, jealousy. Um, well, otherwise, I will continue to live just like this, as I have been living for the last 40 some years, and just, you know, one fine day death will come. Forgiveness in the deathbed, the final hour, forgiveness of the final hour matters not. It does not count. It's irrelevant. I want to forgive now. I want to self-forgive now and live as life. I mean, that is the beauty of self-forgiveness. What's the point self-forgiving is at the very one hour. The doctor says, oh, you have one hour to live. Then you rush to self-forgive. Okay, you might get something, but that's useless. For self-forgive now. Now, death is not imminent right this moment. I have to self-forgive myself now. So, Ravi, thanks for reminding me the seriousness of this life because how quickly life can vanish how quickly death can come i mean ravi was living a you know wonderful life suddenly everything just collapsed so i learn i learn from his life looking at him looking at his life that I have to rebirth myself. And then, of course, everybody has to die. Death will come. But at least I will have the opportunity to self-forgive myself. So this is extremely important. Self-forgiveness is extremely important. It is important because I want to live. Finally, I want to live my life. I have not lived my life all this time. I have been existing as a human robot that is programmed and microchipped by thoughts, emotions, feelings, and belief systems and ideas of my mind. Hence, lived a pretty messed up, miserable, limited life. Whereas, I want to be a real human being. I want to live as life and see what it brings. So, this process continues. Self-forgiveness process continues. It's not like I can never dismiss this. I am continuing with self-forgiveness and giving myself the opportunity to birth myself as life. Please join us at www.destiny.co.za. We are the destiny of this earth. Thank you.